doesn't take long when you hit town in Nashville to understand that the music business, and in particular the country music business, is the star of the show here. From the famous venues like the Grand Ole Opry to the clubs and even the street corners, there are stars and hope to be stars everywhere, picking and grinning. And here at Nashville Super Speedway, a lot of racing stars and hope to be racing stars ready to play their tune, the sound of 700 horsepower. Ooh, I and like the that. sweet sound it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Getting ready to begin uh, singing its song here at Nashville Super Speedway. 300 miles around this mile and a third track. That just a few minutes away. After some morning rains, the skies have cleared. It is a beautiful afternoon here, and we are almost set to get started. First, though, we've got another song to play as we go trackside for the open opening ceremony. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Nashville Recruiting Battalion of the United States Army, who will be presenting our colors today. And with our invocation, Jeff Avaduti from the West Hills Baptist Church. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, before the engines start their roar, Lord, we bow silently and humbly before you. I give you all the glory, for it is only by your grace that we are here. I ask for your bountiful blessings and safety over the race and the racers about to begin. Father, let us not forget those who continue and have fought and served for this country, the greatest country in the world. These men and women sacrifice more than most of us will ever know. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to live in a free nation, to be here, and to be able to enjoy the race. For in your son's name I pray, amen. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail as the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars. So, time to get down to business here in Nashville. The Easter weekend headliner for NASCAR racing is the NASCAR Nationwide Series for 300 miles. Couple of hometown angles on this one. That's Johnny Sauter behind the wheel of Baker Curb Racing's 27 car today instead of Greg Biffle. And Knoxville, Tennessee's Trevor Bain starting 10th in the 99 car. Keep an eye on them as we go racing in Music City. NASCAR Nationwide Series in Nashville is brought to you by Nationwide Insurance. Call or visit us online for a quote today. And the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. ESPN's exclusive coverage of the NASCAR Nationwide Series today with the fifth race of the season, 300 miles at the mile and a third Nashville Super Speedway. A morning rain shower delayed qualifying, but the track is dry. It is a beautiful Easter Saturday afternoon for 300 miles of competition. 
Now, that rain shower and this being a concrete surface track versus a paved speedway sets up some interesting circumstances for the competitors in the opening segment of this race. For that, let's bring in our three boys in the booth who are all in position and ready to roll. Marty Reed, Dale Jarrett, and Ricky Craven. These opening laps could get kind of hairy. Yeah, thanks, Alan. And uh, Craven's real happy you didn't introduce him as Ricky Bobby. He's our rookie <laughs> on the staff. We've been riding him a little hard. Welcome up to the uh, top side of the world. And, Thank uh, you, Marty. We're going to have some fun. Let's talk a little bit before I bring these two in about the track. This is one of the great places we can show you when we talk about the rubber being washed away. Let's take you back to yesterday's first practice session. See how green the track is? Nice white concrete. Well, as the day progressed in uh, practice, this is what the drivers were trying to handle as it was extremely slick. Watch Stephen Wallace fighting that steering wheel. But by last night's Camping World Truck Series race, Take a look at how dark it got in turns one and two. Well, now let's bring you back to today where here is what it looks like and a lot of that rubber is gone away. So now let me bring in Dale Jarrett first. DJ, let's talk about the challenges that these guys face. Yeah, they're going to find a very slick racetrack. Even though they've qualified, they're going to see with air pressures down that this not the racetrack that they saw late yesterday afternoon. But they're going to have to be careful not to over adjust their race car because it's going to change. They're going to get rubber back on the track and they don't want to make too many adjustments early on. So Ricky, then who does this favor and who does it really hurt? Uh, Kevin Harvick, Carl Edwards, Kyle Busch, because they're veterans. And what's that mean? They got experience. Experience shows up in this situation where you can distinguish between the track being the problem or maybe the car being the problem. Are there other guys than what he mentioned that we should keep an eye on today? I'm going to watch our in-race reporter, Justin Allgaier. You know, confidence and momentum are great things to have on your side. These guys won the last time out. Well, he is the best qualifying effort he's had all year in that number three starting spot. Is there somebody you want to keep an eye on? Oh, I like history. I'm going to take Carl Edwards, and I also like that throwback paint scheme. <laughs> well, he hasn't won here since 2007, that uh, being Carl Edwards, but he does have three wins here in that uh, now Valvoline-sponsored Ford for this weekend's race. As uh, final preparations are being made, as uh, Alan pointed out, look at that crystal clear sky. Uh, and yes, uh, you probably saw the shots of the grandstands. Not the biggest of crowds that we've ever had at Nashville, but they will be enthusiastic as we go trackside to get this one underway. And now for those most famous words in motorsports, Big Machine Records recording artist, Steel Magnolia. Drivers, start, start your, your engines. Engine. Crank them up, gang. There you go, Ricky. Crank it up. Crank it up. Crank it up. About the RPM on the dash, minimum and maximum. Right. Sure, Well, here in Nashville, Tennessee, we have seen it happen time and again. A young hopeful comes to town with dreams of making it big. They just want to get noticed and get discovered and somehow launch a career. That's happened right here seven times as this track has produced seven first-time winners. Now, 10 years ago, a young rookie by the name of Greg Biffle came to this racetrack and got his very first win in the first nationwide race run here. He will go on to win two championships in NASCAR. In 2004, Jason Leffler used a fast car and and fuel mileage to get his first win. A year later, Clint Boyer would repay the fact that he was discovered here in an ARCA race in 2003 to win in the Nationwide car in 05. And in June of 2008, Brad Keselowski followed in the footsteps of his famous father as a NASCAR winner. Now, what does all that mean here today? Well, if you're one of the 23 drivers in this field today who have never won a NASCAR nationwide race, say like a 19-year-old Trevor Bain, you're saying to yourself right now, you know what? At Nashville Super Speedway, today is the day. Marty? And maybe it just might be. Thanks, Doc. As we get ready to head towards commercial break, uh, we'll talk to our in-race reporter, and it's going to be the man who won just two weeks ago, Justin Allgaier. We'll talk to him, find out whose question from the mailbag will get answered when we return to the Nashville Super Speedway.